the question was, would you rather have 10 hobbies or one passion? I kind of, I, it really intrigued me last night about hobbies and passions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, ooh, oh, yeah. oh well, everybody was like, oh yeah. The, the first point I, I put oh, like, my, my mustache moved. <laughs> <laughs> about like because I feel like it, it might be this the case for some people. Like sometimes what you graduate with is gonna be different with, with what you actually end up doing. Bernie who went to school sure. like a billion times. <laughs> I went to school a billion times. I took five or six different courses. I think she can I'm do everything. Best. Yeah. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> like doing a lot of shit in the world um, you're, you're the best uh, period yeah you're the best oh. <laughs> yeah, you. is this my therapy <laughs> i'm not gonna leave the you best. guys anymore i'm not i promise i'm not even thinking about it anymore i was thinking about it last night yesterday yeah this is your intervention so yeah like for on my end like i went to school for animation i'm pretty sure a lot of people already know my story in terms of, i went to animation worked i worked in the animation industry for almost half a decade and then quit now i run a social media company and a dance company i don't know because when we were talking about hobbies and passions like a lot of my hobbies helped became into an amalgam of what my passion is yeah so like the, the for those of you guys uh, listening or and want some context uh, last night during our team meeting our the random question of the week uh, that's part of our scrum week the question was would you rather have 10 hobbies or one passion so which is i can and it was really he- interesting hearing everyone's perspective on that. So like, just to reiterate my answer, mine was 10 hobbies. Because if I wasn't exploring, I wouldn't have found the one passion and, and the one ring. So... <laughs> you didn't even watch Lord of the Rings. I know, I know. I just had to say it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's a it just sounds one. nice. Yeah. Just so, nice. B-Rock on the set, uh, on the set, on the chat says <laughs> one passion. On the chat. One, one passion. passion. One, one passion. passion. You only got passion one, one, one shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> one shot. One opportunity. One opportunity. Ah, then I am oh, the man. one who makes bad jokes so you have to realize mra is a dad <laughs> so yeah oh yeah oh, um, and i have dad shoes <laughs> oh god i don't know your thoughts on that great doing something different from what you graduate 10 hobbies versus one passion whatever got two things to hop on i would say i oh, yeah i think i need to share the back my background i started um, my first course in college was bsc english major in literature <laughs> Which is because I like Hi. to write. Yep. And then I moved to educational psychology. Then I moved to special education. And then I stopped school because I think school was useless. I started working in BPO <laughs> and it earned really good money back then. So I started like living my life. Then after a while, I realized I want to please my parents because no matter what I do in BPO, they don't think it's a real job. They think I'm ju- it's just another block. So wow. I went back to school. I went back. I, I weirdly went back to vet school because that's what I liked as a kid. I want to be a vet. But I stopped after a year. But then, yeah, I said, I just want to work. It makes no sense. And then I went back to school. I went back to school to finish psychology because I only have, I honestly have like 57 units left for my okay. psychology. So that was a breaking point. That's the reason why that was my undergrad because among all the things I did, that has like the least number of things to finish. So I get to graduate. Yep. Must be with business. I, yep. So I took it out. I started like, weirdly, my first job, my my parents asked me if I wanted to do marketing because he thinks it's interesting to have a psychology perspective on marketing. That's a fair point. So, yeah. So I, because he's, and then we, we tried it out. I said, yeah, I'm willing to try it out. Then we tried it out. He said, it's working because it's weird how I view things. Because of the you're weird, background. you're hired. Yeah. You're oh, weird. Yeah, you're weird. I like weird people here. So, so yeah. So that's when I, I took over. I, I think that's when I said I need to do post grad and marketing because I like how things are different with marketing. And on the side, yeah, I quit marketing to do judo, which was my college thing. And yeah, I've been there ever since. And I, yeah, I, I go back and forth. Like a million things I went back to, I went back to the office. I went back to big old corporate because yes, it pays really well, but realized I had to quit it when a good 
when Judo opportunity came. But yes, pandemic. Because I, I think I would choose 10 passions because I've been there and done that. Do one thing over the other. And I think the best part of my life is now, weirdly, with the pandemic. Because number one, I realized I like marketing because it allows me to do a lot of things and different things every day. And number two, I am in love with judo. So it's like my passion. Like I like marketing, but judo is my passion. And I like teaching kids. I like building them into better judokas or better people through judo. And then I like to do a million things. Like, yeah, because I'm just on break for my flying school. And what else do I do? And you're going to flight school. Yeah, I went to school. Then I go to the And also, you're like Pitbull because you've been there, done that. So, yeah, you got it all. (laughs) So, I would say, yeah, I I, I would go over doing a lot of things that you're passionate about. Because I would agree with them. That's where you find your passion. So, I did a lot of things, but I realized, yeah, there's something that would keep you coming back. And I would say, in my case, that's true, though. Like, it's something that I could live with and it's something that I'm willing to do even without being paid for. It. Yeah, so, that's the important part. What, will you, what yeah. would you do? Like, even, even if you didn't were, get paid for it. Paid I know. For it. And honestly. I know. But no, notes to like, notes to like the parents of my students. Sometimes, guys, you have to pay too. It's been a year. <laughs> 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 and I pay my internet, guys, and I don't leave at home anymore. So I got my bills now. So yeah, I get okay. It's true. I agree with Bernie. Like I sometimes just a question. The things you would do for free now, okay, for everyone, what were you doing a version of it when you were little? Like cooking? Yes, because like, my mom taught me how to cook. Like that um, you would that you would do on your own. No, like no one had to tell you how to, to do it. No one taught you how to do it. You're just like, I like this. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Dancing. Well, I don't do that anymore. Actually, Inline never skate. mind. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. Nice. All right, chat. <laughs> All right, chat. Put a one if you want Max to perform a temper tantrum. <laughs> ah. Ooh. 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 I hate everyone. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh. Thank you, oh. Mirak. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. With one. Chat is speaking in binary. So- <laughs> One, 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 Yo, no let's, zeros, guys. let's not get that game started again. <laughs> one, one, zero, zero, one. So- like, uh, I mean, for, for me, like hobbies are a distraction to my job. Mm-hmm. And I also use hobbies as a distraction to in school for school work. Distraction. Like I need, oh, I, I Distraction. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is why pronunciation is important. <laughs> and enunciation. Oh yeah. Hi, um, Say it again. Say it again. Destruction. I'm kidding. Uh, Destruction. Say it again. Because I need need to like not think about it for a hot second. I need to do something. I need to do something not my job, which is why I started getting into like a a bunch of things to keep me distracted. Because then if I start doing this one thing and then keep doing that as my distraction, then it turns into just another thing I do. So I have to do Mm. something else. I I need choices. (laughs) I mean, I'll go back to like certain things or whatever. It's like literally using like looking for a TV show to, or anything at all to watch on Netflix. Like I will always have my comfort shows to go back to. Community will always be on. <laughs> like uh, yeah. community will always be on rotation. Avatar will always be in rotation. Legend of Korra will oh, be there. <laughs> but, um, or like Scott Pilgrim mm-hmm. versus the world will always be on rotation. But like sometimes, oh, a new show I can get into. But like, sometimes I just want something comforting. Mm. Familiar. Okay. Try an habit in the morning. So, so hobbies. <laughs> like hobbies. Like, what are my hobbies? Like I got into cooking more, baking more. I got into writing again. Started getting into painting again. Still terrible at it, but whatever. I wouldn't call makeup a hobby anymore, just because it's just huh. there now. Mm. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> like I try new things sometimes, but I'm like, it's a waste of product if I don't go anywhere with it. Mm. That's why people are like, you should do more looks on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, but where, where am I going? I need to have a point. reason. Yeah. I have to, like, you know, yeah. I can't just, it's a waste of products, like $52 a fucking palette. Fuck no. <laughs> I know. Nah, and imagine having to spend effort and doing makeup God. and just staying at home. Yeah, and it's tiring. And <sighs> I know. People yeah, like, t- you, put it on. Yeah, you will be an influencer, but. No. <laughs> 
I mean, if you wanted to, but the thing is, yeah, when you're and then on it becomes my job. Gray area where your hobby can be paid, but you don't want to take it there. It's super hard because when you do it, you want to do it with a certain quality. Mm -hmm. And that That's takes great. a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money even mm -hmm. and I know. yeah Agree. if you're not getting paid for spending that much money and time and, and effort it's super tiring and you also, end up hating your your hobby also turning a hobby or a passion into a job just makes uh, it just helps like me lose interest in it period let's say if i did start like doing other people's makeup yeah, no fuck no I, i will never paint another face including mine <laughs> that's why i haven't taken a photo in three months so mm. yeah. you're trying to avoid taking photos of other people no like i on like uh i don't know in a personal lead yeah photos. yeah sabbatical taking like a break sabbatical because if i do i want it to be like every time better than the last time and <laughs> I can't do that if I am working and studying and finishing my college. Yeah, like yeah. doing it like on a hurry and without the assets I need and the time and the people and everything. That's one of those gonna, things. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. yeah, it's gonna be very frustrating. And so I'd rather let it wait a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I like that. That's, so that's, you don't have to ch choose between your college degree job and your passion job if if you never graduate. <laughs> Good, that's the way forward. That's true. You're not always your money. You're not always too much too much time and money in college. Yeah, you that's you care to share, Alex? <laughs> Bro, but we are already on August. Yeah, pretty much in September. I I'll finish college in like two or three months max. So yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, Yeah. I shouldn't yeah. let it like sink right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you can the... always go back if you stop. Yeah, I, that's so yeah, someone no. who stopped a couple I, of times. <laughs> yeah, but I have like only two years of rare. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, because when I hear Camilo say like we're letting it wait, I'm not saying he's gonna do, it, but here it's a lot of what I hear about other dancers who I thought who had ridiculous talent the thing is with the dance industry it's rough man it's like it with photography man you share that shit on instagram boom boom like people want to take photos of you start charge however much up for a session with dancers it's, it's i feel like it's I don't know, rougher in a sense and people undervalue it and uh, people when i think we said last this last week once the real world happens you gotta start handling your business and the bills and people start getting jobs and then people, and then obviously you want more money in order to do that. You got to put in more time to get that money and then, yeah, in order to get that time. And then therefore you start sacrificing the time you did that you put into dancing and then dancing eventually becomes like a back burner to just okay. a very small lingering flame or, yeah. or just embers at one point because you know, the hobby, gets replaced by real world and uh, or adult world so to speak featuring our one of our clients no I'm just kidding. <laughs> no no i'm no, just kidding I, okay. it took me like two seconds i'm like oh shit oh, no, but, okay. on my pc yeah it, i know good morning that, <laughs> that's why i think like i, I like what max does because for people who aren't crazy to try to start their own business like they it's mm -hmm. the more i would say a i would almost say the stable and safer route because it the you the thing with starting a business or following your one passion the hardcore is money and yes, cash flow pay. and it doesn't pay right off the bat so sure. having your passion as a hobby or having multiple hobbies and being open to monetizing it and but letting your hobby be a hobby instead of a means of money because the minute you make your hobby into a means of money you start doing things differently you start trying to I sell don't. too soon you start trying to produce merch when you're not when you're when your shit isn't ready you start trying to sell when your audience isn't that big yet or you start taking in more clients that you could have then you could handle that too which mm-hmm 
Makes sense. So, so. so with, with the, I'd say like, honestly, this is what I wish someone actually told me when I was younger before starting all this, like, keep your job. <laughs> um, hold on and to it for a little bit. For a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Cause then don't drain your savings immediately. <laughs> cause, okay. cause then again, you don't want to be in that scarcity mindset and you don't want your hobbies, what used to be fun to be like, to be no longer fun because you're relying it for on it for income. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. um, so there's a lot of these like success stories like while wow, they're like wow. amazing and impressive it's like you know all these people i drop everything to do this and then yeah that those are the ones that you hear about on tv on the internet because they're uh-huh. success stories mm-hmm. obviously they're gonna be on the internet you never hear about the ones that i, mm-hmm. I went bankrupt because i chose my health lost their oh, home lost, yeah. like custody because they ran out of money i think the key is like to find the good balance because i would say i love judo when i was working at the gym and i am aware that judo classes is not selling as hot pancakes as personal training classes Mm -hmm. so what i do is i keep my judo classes i have more judo classes but i still keep like a good number of clients that i do personal training which i earn from Mm. So I get to enjoy my judo and I don't get pressured over like adding more classes that I would end up like being so Hating. tired or not giving like 100% on all the, because it's, it's different when you hold classes, you got more than 15 kids on your class or sometimes you get more than 25. It's different than having, because you give your all, you do things with them. Yeah. As compared to like, doing like, personal training with someone, which pays you're more. You're literally sitting there and you're telling them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> demoing just, it once. You're just demoing it once or twice. Did you get it? Like, all right, so here's how you okay, do it. Okay, do it. All right, yep. your turn. Okay, your turn. Go. No, do five more. Times. Yep. No, ten more. Okay, good. Yeah, but Next. then I, th- I think it has to do with the approach you took into your business. Because... Yeah, quitting your your job when your hobby isn't a sustainable income yet is pretty risky. The thing is, maybe you could take a part of your hobby and make it into a small passive income. For example, I don't know anything about dancing, so yeah, I don't know how the fuck could Emery have done that. It's not an advice because I I don't know shit about (laughs) managing a business, but maybe, for example, like what I am trying to do right now is the things I model on SolidWorks and Blender, I am willing to sell those for like even cents if it's necessary, but I am going to build like a portfolio. At the same time, I am building an assets shop. So whenever it starts rolling, I will have, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, but it's passive income that's coming from my learning and my road in, in a way. So I think you can make it softer on yourself if you plan it accordingly. The thing is, you never know how the fuck you should, you're going to do it. Yeah, until like, you're already doing it because the thing with me because i don't know if you guys are in how many of you guys know but i do have online courses so that's yeah. the route that i was going with i'm like oh because i saw other people like make crazy money with it the thing is it's with industries that a lot of people are going for that like niches like i don't know like social media marketing or whatever is hot coding those are hot topic because dancing was not so like, i wasn't i didn't have the the, the foresight to to understand the you know supply and demand of that so i assumed it was a, a beginner bu- business mistake of people think build it uh, you build it and they'll come no you got to double check if you're actually solving a problem first before you actually build yeah. it but i but it's but my course has actually been actually helping pay off pay my car so <laughs> that's nice. it's grown it's yeah. it's grown throughout the, the the pandemic sales went up because people are at home, online courses, I'm like... Everybody has <laughs> learned something or everybody has a one new diploma of the pandemic, I would say. That's the yeah. minimum. Benefits <laughs> from, from coronavirus. Yep, thank oh you, God. Corona. Yeah, oh, God, it doesn't sound nice, but yeah. Yeah, because it, because it's uh, yeah the, ed, the whole educational sector, especially online learning, people the demand went high because people were at home, they wanted to learn, or they just had nothing else better to do, and yeah, definitely yeah, it's different when you try to squeeze money out of your hobbies because it's no longer for yourself. It becomes yeah. more, it becomes for the, it becomes for the bills. 